Microsoft, in collaboration with Qatar's Ministry of Communications and IT, is hosting the exclusive From Imagination to Reality Rise with Microsoft AI event. This event aims to showcase the potential of AI to help people and organizations in Qatar be more productive, innovate groundbreaking solutions, solve society's most pressing problems, and ultimately advance Qatar's digital economy. A number of MOUs were signed at the event. One is between Sprinkler and Microsoft and will empower the Civil Service and Government Development Bureau's Sharik platform with the GPT capabilities of Azure OpenAI service. So we're very glad to have this partnership with uh, Microsoft and to be hosted by Azure Qatar. Sharik is a unified citizen experience platform that is helping decision makers to make deci decisions in a more uh, 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 faster approach and a better informed decisions. It's helping also the mid-level management and the directors to be receptive to customer experience and customer expectation. It's making sure that the agents on the desk are providing a better quality service. And it's making sure that the customer himself is better informed when he's asking or she's asking for a service. And this is what we're aspiring to do by having a unified citizen experience platform to better serve our citizens. Another MOU was inked between Vodafone and Microsoft aimed at leveraging the power of Microsoft Digital Contact Center technologies to revolutionize Vodafone's customer experience. So you know our uh, brand promises together we can and that demonstrates our belief that technology and society together can deliver a better future for everyone. As part of that, we strive to always constantly innovate and identify the new technologies that could provide benefits to our business customers, either enterprises or public organizations. And this is where AI with Microsoft is coming from. And the, the MOU that we just signed is the first use case that we try to take uh, to the market. It is a digital contact center, an end-to-end -end contact center for all organizations, banks, hotels, or even public entities that want to modernize their contact center, offer a better customer experience, enhance their, uh, their efficiencies, and make the most out of what AI has to offer. The event comes at an opportune time as economies across the Middle East witness AI innovations come out of the research lab and into the mainstream. From offices to schools to hospitals, AI tools have become essential to empowering users across sectors and driving advancements in research, development and productivity. So AVI empowers patients with an artificial intelligence-based self-diagnostic system. The patient feels unwell, they can present their complaint to AVI. AVI conducts an interactive session with patients. So for that to happen, we have to train a model and run that model uh, on powerful machines. For that, we use uh, Microsoft Azure. Research by PwC reveals AI could contribute $320 billion to the Middle East economy in 2030, equivalent to 11% of GDP. PwC is globally excited about the potential of artificial intelligence. As AI leader, we help organizations reimagine their business models and build trust in AI systems. We have invested $1 billion in generative AI services and have an industry-leading relationship with Microsoft to advance AI technologies. This collaboration supports our clients in harnessing the power of emerging technologies, reinventing their businesses, generating insights and driving productivity while building trust. Together with Microsoft, we contribute to Qatar National Digital Agenda and AI strategy, transforming the future through human-led and tech-powered innovations made real for our region. Forbes Middle East was proud to be the exclusive media partner of the Rise with Microsoft AI event, supporting the tech leader in its mission to use AI to drive productivity, innovate groundbreaking solutions, solve the most pressing problems of society, and ultimately advance Qatar's digital economy.